In this exercise, you will review the library templates associated with a PyData Archive component and note what configuration data is required for them to function. After creating the necessary element, you will locate the required data and configure the element appropriately. You will review the analyses and determine how they are used for monitoring and what triggers them. You will simulate a failed subsystem condition using the Pi backup subsystem by triggering an analysis to produce an event frame and notification and review these outputs. This will illustrate a full end-to-end -end use case for Pi system monitoring. Refer to the Pi architecture diagram provided in the scenario at the beginning of this course manual to get the machine name of the Pi data archive. First, you will create the element for the Pi Data Archive machine. It uses the PSM server template, which can be used for any server, regardless of which Pi system components are installed. In Pi System Explorer, in the browser, right click the Pi School element in your database and select New, New Child Element. In the Choose Element template window, ensure reference type Domain Server is chosen and select the PSM server basic template. You will see a new server element under PySchool in the element structure. The element will have a default name indicating that user input is required. Select the attributes tab in the viewer. Note the PSM server basic template only includes configuration attributes and a couple of high level summary and system attributes for general availability. For now, we just need a server element to exist so we can create the data archive component under it. Expand the target attribute. Click the plus button to the left of target. Here you will need to fill in certain details that were provided in the scenario at the beginning of this document. Target must be set to machine name for the server. In our case, pi SRV01. The default values for location one and location four can stay as they are. The perfmon point source must be set to the point source for the Pi interface for performance monitor instance that is retrieving the performance counters for this server. The perfmon point source is provided in the scenario at the beginning of the course. In our case, Pi monitor 01 underscore PERF01. Ensure that the values you have entered look exactly as pictured on the screen with no extra spaces. Check in your changes. At this point, your hierarchy should look like this. The operational status, system, system uptime, and notification suppressed attributes are all PyPoint data references and the values show PyPoint not found. This is because we haven't created the associated Py tags for them. These attributes are used to monitor the overall availability status of the server, and in certain cases can be used to suppress notifications where a server or component is unavailable. We will create the Py tags in a future step, so there is no further configuration needed right now. Next, you will create the element for the data archive component. Right click on the Py SRV01 element in your database and select New, New Child Element. In the Choose Element template window, ensure reference type Server Data Archive is chosen and select the PSM Data Archive template. You will see a new data archive element with a default name under PySRV01 in the element structure. This name can stay as is. In the viewer on the attributes tab, you will see all of the attributes defined for this element. Notice there are many attributes which have PyPoint data references and the values show PyPoint not found. This is because you haven't created the associated Py tags yet. Generally, the items in the ZZZ configuration category are either inherited from a parent, for example, the target or notification email address, or need to be set appropriately by the user prior to creating monitoring tags, as some of them are used in PyTag configuration. Find and expand the target attribute. If you scroll down, it should be at the bottom under category ZZZ configuration. Notice that the target and perfmon point source attributes are already filled in. They are inherited from the parent element. Ensure yours match what is shown. Look for other items under ZZZ configuration that have the pencil icon to the left. These likely need to be set by the user. Where possible, attributes have default values, but you should confirm that those values meet your needs. For the data archive, you will need to set archive cache record pool, 
If you click the down arrow to the right of the blank value field, you will get a dropdown with pre-configured values. For this course, and in most cases, you can use the default four times point count, the archive max write cache per point. For this course, and in most cases, the default of 256 is good. The number of logical CPUs. Set this appropriately for your system. For this course, four is correct. Check in your changes. You will notice a large list of added and changed items, analyses, and elements that are created with this type of element. You will now create the Pi tags required for both the server and data archive components. Right click on the Pi SRV01 element in the browser and select Create or Update Data Reference. Pi tags will be created for both the Pi SRV01 and Pi SRV01 data archive elements. The Create Config window will show the progress of the creation. After it is complete, you will see a value of point created besides the attributes that have Pi point data references. After a couple of minutes, the Pi tags will be picked up by Pi Perfmon and will start showing values in Pi System Explorer. You may need to click the refresh button in the toolbar. On the Pi SRV01 data archive element, select the analyses tab in the viewer and you will see many analyses defined for this element. This icon indicates event frames, meaning if the trigger conditions are reached, an event frame will be created. This icon indicates expressions, which are calculations. Notice the hash circle icon to the left of each of the analyses. This means they're currently disabled. Select the notification rules tab in the viewer and you will see several notification rules defined for this element as well. Note, they are also disabled. To enable the analyses and notification rules, select management in the navigator at the bottom left. In the browser, ensure analyses is selected under type and all is selected under the analysis searches. In the viewer, you will see a list of the analyses. Click the empty checkbox above the list to select them all, including the three associated with the server template. On the right pane, select enable to enable the analyses. The status icon will change to a cycling blue arrows while the analyses are starting and then show as green check marks once they are running. The notification rules also need to be enabled. Select Notification Rules under Type on the top left. Select all the notification rules, including the one for the server template, and enable them. Now that you have created and configured the element and analyses, you will simulate a failed subsystem condition using the Pi Backup subsystem. The Data Archive has several subsystems that work together to make the overall Data Archive function properly. If any one of these subsystems fails, it can cause problems with the Data Archive. It's important to know when a subsystem has failed so it can be addressed quickly to prevent additional issues or extended system downtime. Select Elements in the Navigator, and within the Pi SRV01 Data Archive element, go to the Analyses tab in the viewer and select the Pi Subsystem Status expression. In the lower window, you will see multiple variables defined. This expression is checking if any of the subsystems are having a problem. There are variables for each subsystem which check the value of the percent processor time attribute for that process. If the attribute value is IO timeout, the variable value is set to stop. If the attribute value is bad, the variable value is unknown bad value. For all other attribute values, like good numeric values, the variable value is set to running. The variable overall status string concatenates the values of all the process variables together. If none of the subsystems has a problem, the combined string will only contain multiple instances of the value running. The variable overall status checks if the combined value string contains the words stopped or unknown and returns a value of bad if it does. Otherwise, it returns good. The result is captured in the pi subsystem overall status output attribute. The expression is periodic and evaluates every minute. Select the Pi Subsystem Failure Event Frame Analysis. There is one start trigger defined for this analysis, listed in the lower window. The Pi Subsystem Stop trigger checks if the Pi Subsystem Overall Status variable from the expression is bad and triggers if it maintains this value for five minutes. The analysis is event triggered, so it will check conditions anytime the value for the variable changes. To simulate a subsystem failure, you will stop a subsystem on the data archive. 
connect to PySRV01 using the web browser. On PySRV01, open the Windows Services pane via the icon in the taskbar. Find the Py Backup subsystem and note its current status. It should be running. Right-click on the service and select Properties. Set Startup Type to Disabled and click Apply. Then select Stop. Confirm that the status shows blank, indicating that the service is not running. Return to your Pi Web Browser connection for Pi Monitor 01. In the Attributes tab, look at the value for Process Pi Backup underscore percent processor time Pi Point data reference attribute. It shows as IO timeout, indicating the service has stopped running. Similarly, the value for the Pi Backup subsystem status variable has changed to stopped. You may need to hit refresh to see these new values. Note that the value for Pi subsystem overall status may still be good. We will take a look at why. Select the Analyses tab and select the Pi subsystem status expression analysis. Click Evaluate and see that the value at evaluation for Pi backup status shows stopped, while the value at the last trigger may show as running or stopped. This is because the analysis is scheduled periodically and runs every minute. If you happen to check the evaluation before the scheduled run, you may have seen it as still running because it hadn't triggered yet after you stopped the subsystem. Once it triggers, the value at last trigger for Pi backup status will show as stopped, which then sets the value for overall status to bad, indicating a subsystem has failed. Select the Pi subsystem failure event frame analysis. Click evaluate and see that the value is true. Note that it has to stay true for five minutes for the event to trigger. While you are waiting for the event frame to trigger, open Microsoft Outlook on the Pi Monitor 01 machine. When you open Outlook, it will prompt you with a Microsoft Office activation wizard pop-up. Click Close. It will then prompt you to log in to the Student01 and Student02 accounts. Replace the default password on the login screens with the password provided to you for this course and click OK for both. By now, you should have an event frame. In Pi System Explorer, click on the General tab in the viewer and click the Event Frames link to see any event frames created by this element. Once the new event frame has been created, it will show in the Find Event Frames window. You should see a new event frame for Data Archive Pi Subsystem Stopped. You can see it is currently active, not yet closed, because the end time is blank. In Outlook, Select the student01 at pyschool.int inbox and locate the email notification for the Data Archive Pi Subsystem Stop notification. If it is not showing up, click the Send Receive All Folders button in the top right of the Home toolbar to refresh. Open the email and look at the content. The event name is shown in both the subject and the body of the email and includes the start trigger to show which condition triggered the event. The table provides some key information on performance indicators showing the values at start and send times and expected value for evaluation. Note that it shows the Pi backup subsystem has stopped. Below the table are instructions to troubleshoot the issue. These can include various steps to follow to further diagnose the issue, as well as links to Aviva documentation. Near the bottom of the email is a link to the Pi Vision display for the event frame. Click the link in the email and Microsoft Edge will open with a Pi Vision display. Return to the connection in your web browser for Pi SRV01. On Pi SRV01, open the Windows Services pane, find the Pi Backup subsystem, and change the startup type back to automatic. Click Apply, and then click Start to start the service. Click OK to close the window. Ensure that the status changes to running. You may need to click the refresh button to see this. Back on Pi Monitor 01 and Pi System Explorer in the Attributes tab, check the values of Process Pi Backup, Percent Processor Time, and Pi Backup Subsystem Status attribute. They should change back to good values. You may have to refresh. The Pi Subsystem Overall Status Analysis Output tag may still show as bad. It will switch to good once the scheduled analysis has run to update the value. 
and then the event frame will close. Select the General tab and click Event Frames. Confirm that the event frame has closed. It will now have an end time. You should also receive an email in Outlook indicating that the event has closed. You may need to refresh to see it. The email subject is the same as the original event email with Notification is closed appended at the beginning to indicate that the event has ended. Within the email body, you will also see that the value at email send time has changed back to running, while the value at event frame start time still shows as stopped. This is so that you can see which subsystem originally failed, causing the notification and closure emails. This exercise has taken you through the full end-to-end -end scenario of creating an element to be monitored, configuring required attributes, enabling analyses and notifications, detecting an issue, notifying you of that issue, providing troubleshooting information, and notifying you once the issue has been resolved. This illustrates a full Pi system monitoring use case involving asset framework to create the element based on templates, data archive to hold Pi tag data, Pi interface for performance monitor to gather data from Windows performance counters and store in Pi tags, asset analytics to monitor Pi tags for incoming data, detect anomalies, and create event frames to capture the issue, Pi notifications to alert on the issue and PyVision to visualize the event frame data.